Welcome back to the world famous Jiggy Jaguar show here on the great, great Starcom TV network. We've got a incredible guest joining us via Skype today. I want to go ahead and let her introduce herself. We'll talk a little bit about why she's here. Go ahead and jump in there, my friend, and give us a brief introduction on yourself. Well, my name is Jennifer. Hi, everybody there at Jiggy Jaguar. And I'm Jennifer Gligerich, and I am a small business coach. I'm a consultant, and I just wrote a really great book, and I'm doing a promotion. We're basically giving away my time and talent for the holiday season. That's really cool. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. Now, um, the, tell, us, tell us a little bit about the, uh, the book itself. Why did you t decide to write the book? All, all that. Well, I actually was picked. It's 101 great ways to compete in today's job market. And so I submitted with everyone else that's in my in industry who has a background like I do. I've got about yep. 20 years experience as a recruiter. I was an award-winning recruiter. Yep. And I've moved off to help small businesses. But a lot of times I help them with HR and marketing because of my background. But the book is from a lot of different industry leaders, including Brian Tracy, who's a good sponsor of your show. I saw yep. him on your yep. website. Yep. And um, it's Right now, times are really tough for people, and there are a lot of people who aren't working that are have great careers. They've got great references. They've got yep. amazing education, but they can't find a job. And then there's the people that are working, but they're very underemployed, you know. And so this book really is a, is reaching out to them to try to help people break into this new era. It's an internet era. We're in a depression. People have to do things a lot differently than they used to with the traditional job search. So that's why I think it's really important. Like everything from how to tweak your resume now with yep. the social media thing to people who over give information on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, mean, I worked with a client. We had to, we had to let somebody go because they had a story about how sick they were. They had been in the hospital and they had been in the hospital, but then they went out partying that weekend and posted pictures like at 11 PM, you know, with a drink in their hand, you know, selfies. And then they show up late and they're like, I need to leave work early cause I'm still sick. And you're like, um, your Facebook's tied with the work Facebook and everybody saw your party pictures, you know? So that's really not true. You're, you just have a hangover, you know? So <laughs> you're going to have to be let go because they had already had, you know, issues and stuff like that. Now, uh, with, with this book, what, the, the, um, the motivation to writing this, uh, I, I know there's a, there's a lot of people out there that, uh, they want to write a book. They want to get a book started. Um, what what was what was the the kicker to, to get you to, to to pick up the pen and put it to paper? Well, um, I love writing. I've done a lot of writing, and I, I have another book I'm writing right now. But if you want to be a writer, you just have to write. There are a lot of venues from self publishing to you know even the really big publishing houses are looking for the next uh, best thing. And there's a million people that their specialty is to hook you up with how to get the right publicist to, to if you're going to get a check, you know, ahead of time to help you write the book. So you just have to look on, I would go with Jack Hanfield. <laughs> he has yeah, a really yeah. great blueprint for success program. He's decided to do just now. And it helps budding writers, people who are stay at home moms or who have a great experience, get their book published. And for those of you who don't know who he is, he's the uh, creator of chicken soup for the soul. Yep. And yep. He, he, yeah, he was turned down 144 times by different publishers. Wow. Before someone finally took the chance on him. And now he has outsold the Bible. That, so, is, a, <laughs> that, that is absolutely amazing. So now, now with, with, with your services and everything, tell us about some of the different services that you're offering uh, during the holiday season here. Well, my time and talent promotion, what I'm doing is I'm reaching out in several cities and I'm talking to people like you Jiggy, yep. and uh, doing some flyers and I want to give them, you know, basically the book, but I also want to give them some coaching. And most people think that a coach is for a star athlete or, you know, somebody who's very rich or a head CEO. And really, it's not like that. Um, coaching really helps small business people or professionals when they're stuck. Be and it can be very affordable. So what I'm offering is for 50 bucks, you get the book, which is a 500-page book. Oh, wait, here, which is this. 
It's a look at that. <laughs> that thing is right. you. You could you could knock out Mike Tyson with that book. That that thing is thick. <laughs> you can get this and uh, or give it to one of your jobless friends <laughs> to help them. And I wrap it up and I send it and then I give a mini muse uh, coaching session to them. And it can be everything on a resume. You know, I was in HR, I was recruiter. I know which resumes I would throw in the trash and which resumes I tell my clients to throw in the trash. So I'll be willing for 30 minutes, which is normally, you know, a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. Um, give you the book, ship the book out, and then I will um, coach with you. And it can be your resume. It could be if you already are in work, it's to how to improve the situation that you're in. Um, from someone who's in it. And I know a wealth of coaches and a wealth of different consultants. So, you know, some people, they don't need a coach. They need a therapist. And that's not saying anything bad about them, okay? But they have personal issues that keep on cropping up and cropping up, and they can't move forward in any way. They're not ready for a coach or a consultant because they need to take care of that horrible divorce or they need to take care of an addiction. Or something, and so I talk to them, try to see where they're at and what they actually need. Some people don't need a coach; they need a consultant. They know exactly what's wrong; they just don't have the tools to fix it, and they know what metrics that they need to be hit. And so I help them do that. And for that price, they're getting a whole big bang for their buck. And, and it's what I want to do for the Christmas season. I love helping people, and so that's why I'm, I'm doing. It's it's an amazing idea. Tell us a little bit more about uh, what you do when, when when you coach with folks. Uh, do, do you do you do it via Skype? Do you do it via email? How, how do you do this? Well, I do it everything from one on one to via Skype. Now, I I don't like email and I don't like just on the phone because I like to see the people that I'm talking to because I will read their body language. Uh, you know, sometimes they can say something, but then when I look at the way they're sitting or how they're acting, I think, yeah, that's not the real problem. And so my job is to get at the root of it, the, the things they're not thinking of, and to ask the questions to get them to ask the, the questions. So I prefer it in a more, you know, visual sort of connection. Well, it is a uh, it is it is such a cool thing you're doing during the holiday season. Um, uh, tell us about some of the folks that have taken advantage of this so far, and what 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 you what you've done with them recently. Well, I have had one talk with one group of students who are now graduating, going out into the workforce, and so that was pretty interesting to me because the millennials and the kids now that are going to work, they have a much different idea of how a job supposed to be. Yeah. I don't know if it's schooling or education, but I was pretty prepared for the workplace when I graduated high school. And I'm noticing now they're really not. They have ideas of pay that are astronomical of, and they're not teaching them home ec anymore. So when you talk about budgeting or groceries and what it costs from everything from a rental contract, you know, like I ended up going far off and going, now, how many of you guys are going to go get an apartment? You know, a couple of <laughs> hands right <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and, okay, how much do you think that's going to be? And then their answers were, like, insane, you know. And <laughs> so they really need help. And um, I know of another coach that helps people like that. And so I called her up and I said, you know, we might do another class for free just to help these kids out, you know. So I've done that. And as far as the individual one-on-one, -on -one, I've just done a couple because I've just started the campaign. Yep, and for yep. the three people I did talk to, it was just for their resumes. They Their resume style was very outdated. They Two of the instances, they didn't even spell check it. Wow. Well, there is one <laughs> error on your resume. It'll go straight into the trash. Or they one like one person just had her name, and she didn't have her phone number on it or her address. So how are they supposed to contact her? No email, no Amazing. Emails. Yeah, she was just so nervous. So it's basic things like that into, you know, they spend time like one person, <laughs> which I felt really sp uh, weird about. He had a bachelor's degree in this geochemistry something yeah. room, yeah. right? And I said, so this is the... the you know, this is your degree you just got, and this is the field you want to be in, correct? No. Okay. Well, what's, what do you want to do, right? 
And then he's like, I want to be an electrician like my dad. Well, why didn't you go into an apprenticeship program? Because everyone told me I needed this piece of paper. I said, but this piece of paper has nothing to do with being an electrician. Well, yeah, but that's what they told me. And I said, did you tell your counselors and everybody you wanted to be an electrician like your dad? And from the other things he had told me, his dad was a really good electrician, had a great thriving business. But he was browbeat into going to college and getting yeah. a degree he never used whatsoever. Rather than having someone give him enough respect and respect for that profession to say, hey, you need to get right into an apprenticeship program. It's amazing. <laughs> it is amazing. There's like a lack of respect for blue collar, I guess, blue collar workers. Well, I'm sorry, but my plumber charges me a ridiculous amount of money. <laughs> yeah. To, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of skills to do that. And we need more people like that. You know, we don't need people walking around with a piece of paper who are like, man, I really wish I could be a carpenter. <laughs> but no one's going to give me <laughs> if I can be a carpenter. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't know if it's because I'm a conservative, but I give anybody respect. If you can make something, then you deserve to get paid well for that because there's people like me who are willing to buy that from you. And that's what our economy is based on. You know, so I'm seeing a lot of that too. Well, um, let's mention the website one more time so people can get more information on you. We've just got a few more minutes left with you here. Okay, it is um, jennifermarketing.com or you can go to mycoachjennifer.com. Well, it is, uh, it is an amazing service. Thanks for doing this, and uh, thanks for being with us today. Thanks, Jiggy. Definitely.